Hey, good morning, people of purpose. I'm coming to you today as a mom and just dealing with children during crisis. So with children, they love to hide things from you, right? And then when they get grown, they talk about all the stuff that you missed when they were children, all the things that they got away with until what they got away with goes wrong. So... It's all fun and giggles when you're doing things and it's all good when you're doing things and mm, everything is quiet and in the dark and you got away with it. But what happens when you're doing something and it goes wrong? Then you're looking for your parents to assist you to help you out. And then when they missed what you hid from them, it becomes a capital punishment against the parent. So it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. So if you got away with it and it was successful for you, then thumbs up. But if I missed it, but something bad happened to you, it's thumbs down for me, right? No. So, you know, I have children in every age category and I've heard the stories about oh I got away with this and he 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 was funny but the things that I missed as a parent I am judged because (laughs) you were successful in hiding it I, I don't see that as a failure on the parents part and with this generation of our children they feel like everything should be placed with a blame So whether the outcome was good or bad, that's where the blame lies. So if I did a good job and I hid it from you, thumbs up. If I didn't, thumbs down. Hmm. I wonder how that really plays out in the real world. So honestly, if I missed it because you hid it from me and and something bad happened to you, oh, that falls on you. But this generation doesn't seem to understand the concept of accountability or responsibility. So regardless of what they do with their lives, there's always somebody to be had. Um, There is no accountability for their actions. And they don't think that they should play the part and have to deal with the responsibility of being, mm, I want to say, an unruly, a disobedient, mm, a sneaky a dishonest child, regardless of when it shows up in your life. My thing is, you know, we all do things, whether it's good or bad. And in the same token, whether I'm successful in business or whether I make a bad business decision, that comes back to me. So we, as parents, the, the, the blame doesn't shift. You know, you can't say that as a parent, I am the one that is responsible for your wrongdoings or I'm the one that's responsible because you weren't successful. And at some point in time in your life, you need to get to the point and say, I am an adult now. What happened to me as a child happened as a child and my parent is not responsible. I'm so sick of listening to adults talk about what happened to them in their childhood that they haven't gotten over. You know, parents do the best that they can, you know, regardless if we agree with them or not. I am the one that can tell you wholeheartedly that my parents were not around. And therefore, I can't say that I ever had parents growing up. You know, I didn't meet my parents really until my adulthood. So everything that bad happened to me as a child, it happened to me as a child. And I am over that now because I'm an adult and I have to deal with where I'm at in my stage at this stage in my life, you know, um, you're always going to have pain, period. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's a work in progress or it's something that is in your past, you're always going to have pain. But pain is a very, very important motivator to your success. So what you choose to do with that today is on you, not your parents. Um, that was just my speech because, you know, I've heard a lot of things over this last week and I've been dealing with a lot of stuff pertaining to my children. And I just wanted to get that out. Follow me, uh, Donita J. Clark at youtube.com. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm Donita J. Clark on all my platforms. Have a good day.